Alright everyone, my name is Ethcode and welcome back to Forspoken. For those familiar with my channel, you probably already know that I played the base game and, despite all the criticism, it really left a good impression on me. Sure, it wasn't the most brilliant story in the world, but honestly, I didn't have this expectation in the first place. I wanted a game that reminded me of Infamous in terms of gameplay and that's exactly what I got. I can say that the DLC is even better than the base game, especially with the fact that throughout the game we have a partner, and no, I'm not referring to Cuff but to a person, a Tanta to be exact, who will be with us during the whole DLC. In terms of time investment, the DLC is not very long, but from my point of view, if you want to find every secret, every chest, I can say that you can end up playing even up to 6-7 to seven hours. Just so you know, I finished the DLC in just one sitting. I have to admit, the final boss really felt like a final boss, and I liked it, especially since, as you know, I played the game on hard, and a good challenge is always welcomed. Overall, if you've played the base game already, and want to see what happens next, I do recommend the DLC as well, especially since it ends in a huge cliffhanger hinting at a sequel. But like always, I don't want to spoil anything, so enjoy the gameplay. Pray. The truth you seek lies in the soil. Maybe I just imagined that stupid voice. It was probably just the wind. After all, what could there possibly be worth finding out here in the middle of nowhere? Pray. Am I going nuts, or did that thing just say my name? Well, as with all ominous glowing objects, I'd advise you to steer well clear. I don't know. My Tonda instinct's telling me I should check it out. When this goes wrong, do remember that I told you so. Well, what the? If you wish to save that, you must first know its past. What? What are you talking about? Who's Talia? I think he was talking to you. Oh, he must have mistaken me for somebody else. I wouldn't be so sure. I rather suspect we might have been transported into someone else's body. <laughs> Looks like we're in 
some kind of reason. Might I suggest we take the dead man's advice and leave before whoever tried to kill Talia comes back? All right, I'll agree with you on that. Let's find somewhere with a view. Take a look around. Is this... Vesoria? Vesoria before the break. Rather different, isn't it? Hang on, did we time travel? No, 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 no way. That is not a thing. Stay away! There is nowhere to hide. Who was that? It looked to me like a bold Reddig soldier chasing down a cowardly Athian dog. Reddig? As in, your pals who invaded Athia, the Reddig? You know, I do believe we might have found ourselves in the midst of my people's glorious and entirely righteous invasion. Huh? Okay, I can barely process suddenly being someone else. You're gonna have to give me a sec. This place is crawling with soldiers. You! Shit. Stop right there. Stay back! Unless you want to get hurt! Alright. Ah! Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. My magic's not working. Well, if you're not you anymore, perhaps you don't have any. You gotta be kidding me. What? Hold her still. Hey, stop! Ah! Uh, get, oh, don't touch me! Oh, what is that? and ready the tree of offering. This time, the gloaming shall not fail. Frey, you again. Who the hell are you? I'm the one who brought you here, that you might bear witness to the past. So we really did go back in time. Why? What do you want from me? You seek answers, and here, you might begin to find them. What? What are you talking about? There is much for you to learn. For now, know this. You cannot change what has already come to pass. Change it? I, I don't even... Now go. Ah, finally awake. Uh. 
Oh, great. This day just keeps getting better. Indeed. <sighs> We're in a dungeon somewhere beneath Vissoria Castle. Oh, fuck. That guy. What did he do to me anyway? What is this cough? A tattoo? Sadly, I have no idea. Although I wouldn't know a tattoo if it bit me on the leg. Great. <sighs> Useful as ever. Well, I heard the voice again. Said it brought me here to find answers. I know. I heard it too. But I'm pretty sure we won't be finding any down here. <clears throat> Agreed. And I don't think we're getting out of here without any magic. Well, surely you can't be out of ideas, not the venerable Tanta Frey. Hold on a second. Aren't you supposed to be tight with the Reddick? Why didn't you say something? Need I remind you, nobody else can hear me. And even if they could, I'm not sure how wise it would be to reveal your invisible friend. Wow, friends. That is something. <sighs> Fuck, I wish I had some magic! <laughs> Did I just do that? Why do I feel like we've been here before? Whoa, this is some new shit, too. Perhaps it's thanks to your tattoo, was it? Well, whatever it is, I say we take advantage and get the hell out of here. You! How did you get out of that? Sorry, but you're gonna have to step aside. Time to give my new magic a whirl. Why do I get the feeling you're about to badly hurt this? Hey, you got any better ideas? Huh. Okay. Whoa! Let's get out of here. Oh. Was that an earthquake? Whatever it is, I don't imagine it's good. Again. The vessel is a Ugh, really missing my moves right now. Yes, I seem rather on game. Wanna stop talking and start helping? Try as it may be, you'll have to fight without me for a change. My abilities don't seem to work. So I get all your personality and none of your powers. Great, talk about the worst of both worlds. Oh, oh, Freya, you were going to have to learn to stand on your own feet one day. Yeah. Mm. Huh.
That was a lot. Well, I hope you're ready for more. Fuck. <clears throat> Why can't I? <laughs> Pray, pull yourself together. Tanta Center? What's your name? Uh, good question. Um, <laughs> so you are, Talia. Olas was right. What? No matter, come, we must leave this place. <laughs> Where are we going? It's peculiar. Something here is interfering with my powers. <laughs> Great. Well, we won't be leaving by Tirana. We must find another way. Follow me. Hold on a second. What is it? Sorry, I just... I have no idea what the hell is happening. Care to enlighten me? Fine, but we do not have much time. Um, so, did Olas ask you to come find me or something? Is that so surprising? You were part of her guard, no? Right, yeah, her guard. That's, uh, yep. But, uh, why send a Tonta to find one soldier? Don't you have more important things to do? I was bound for Vasoria already, to assess the Reddick threat. I offered to help you as a favor to Olas, nothing more. This is the oldest part of the city. It was built by Vesoria's very first hunter. She dwelt here with her subjects. Does anyone live here now? No. The Cognitions conducted their research here for a time, but few have ventured down here in recent years. At least, until the Red Egg arrived. What's with those guys, anyway? You refer to the Reddick? Yeah, why'd they attack Athia in the first place? Were you not briefed on the invasion? Uh, they did something to me when they caught me. Yeah, it, it messed with my memory. I see. Well, no one is entirely sure why they are here, but... But what? We fear this may be more than a mere act of conquest. As to what their true intent might be, that we have yet to discover. So, where are the other Tauntas? Sila and Proud battle tirelessly to defend their realms from the Red Egg. Olus lends her aid where she can, and though the tide of battle has begun to turn in our favor, our position is precarious, and our advantage too small to count on. I see. Have you heard enough? Uh, yeah. Well, for now, at least. Good. Then come. There is no time to waste. Follow me.
Stay still. We've had word of an intruder. Find them. Quickly. And do what you must. May the deaths of the sinners cleanse them. May the deaths of the sinners cleanse them. It will be quicker to avoid them than to eliminate them. This way. Find them. They must not get away. For a So, the Reddick have completely taken over Vistoria? Unfortunately, yes. They mounted an attack while our forces were concentrated elsewhere. Frankly, we were unprepared for the metal they have shown. Stop! Reddick up ahead! This way! Wait! Stay close. They say when the doctors might be here in Disoria. Which one? Oh, last, I suppose. They're not sure. Anyway, be on your guard. How is that possible? Find her, damn you! We don't have long. Quickly! I met one of their generals earlier. At least I think he was. He stuck a thing into my arm, and now I've got this weird tattoo. Aldecor, one of their most formidable warriors. And if the rumors are to be believed, a man with a keen interest in human experimentation. Interesting. Here we are. Huh? We're going through here? The only safe route lies ahead. Go. I will keep watch. Okay. Well, this is cozy. Is there really no other way? That the Red Egg weren't aware of? No. Ugh. Even Homer could barely squeeze through here. Less chatter, we must keep moving. This way, follow me. Can't have gone far. Leave no stone unturned. Run! Intruder! Uh, Shit! Up ahead! This way! Go my death! Dead end! Shut up and trust me. What? It it disappeared. Never mind that. With me. So that was an illusion? One of Olas's, I guess. Not hers, one of her predecessors. They were put in place for emergencies such as this. Faster. We cannot afford to dally. <sighs> But to fight. I'm right behind you. Frozen. Oh. Yeah, 
Wins a win, I guess. Your power. Kinda groovy, right? I don't know what it is exactly, but I just know I can use it. I see. Is something wrong? No, no, not at all. Just tell me if you start to feel unwell. Why would I feel unwell? It's nothing to worry about. Just tell me. Agreed? I guess. Good. Then let's keep moving. You think she knows something about the magic or the tattoo? Maybe, but it doesn't seem like she's in a sharing mood. So you can't Tirana all the way out of here, but you can still teleport? Then how come we're still walking everywhere? To move both of us would require energy I cannot afford to spare. Gotcha. You're saving your energy, just in case. Stay close. More soldiers. The general says more offerings are required. The normal proceedings are going to hand. May the deaths of the sinners cleanse them. May the deaths of the sinners cleanse them. More tremors. We need more offerings for the tree. Then we shall find them. This way. Now is our chance. We must strike while they are distracted. Yeah. <laughs> 
exit isn't much farther. Come. That appears to be the last of them. Maybe we should check out their camp. There could be some useful stuff, and I'm kind of tired, not gonna lie. It might not be a bad idea to rest while we can. Cribbing off your enemies, eh? Can't say I blame you. The Reddicks certainly know a thing or two about magic. This vessel? That's me, isn't it? I rather think it might be, yes. Well, I don't know about you, but I feel great about this. Do you think 
things played out this way with Talia? Like, was she captured too? Did she try to escape Vistoria with Cinta? Well, it's possible, I suppose. Hmm. I wonder what they would have talked about. One can only speculate, but let's not, eh? We have things to do. Those bird masks the Reddig wear? They're pretty wild, huh? I happen to think they're rather noble. I mean, I guess you would, seeing as you're basically made of birds. Is that your people's thing or something? And what if it is? A bird looks down on all creation from the freedom of the skies. A fitting symbol of superiority. Yeah, until it gets eaten by a cat. that thing. It is the result of one of Aldecor's experiments. Aldecor makes break beasts? Shit. Guess I'm fighting this thing. The beast is protected. Oh yeah? Oh, I hadn't noticed. Try to avoid it until I've recovered my strength. Easier said than done. gone? Are we good? It's not over yet. We need to get to safety. But let's catch our breath a little first. All right, we should be on our way. Hey, that guy back there, how could you just leave him? Now's not the time. Fine. Is something the matter? I was thinking about before. That guy, how easy it was for Cinta to just abandon him. She was trying to get you to safety. You can't save everyone, Frey. She made a choice. I don't see anything wrong with her. Yeah, you wouldn't. Oh! Oh! Yeah! 
All of your strength of where to make it out of here. Hey, Cuff. Does Sinta seem a little strange to you? Strange compared to what, exactly? I don't know. I just thought she'd be warmer and fuzzier. But she's all business. And how else would you expect her to be in the middle of a war zone, as you put it? Yeah, I guess. Do you think the Reddick really can make break beasts? Well, they did make me, and I'd say that requires a lot more finesse. I guess. Just can't imagine anyone wanting to do something like that. You sound almost scared. Surely not. The mighty Tanta Frey? Wonder if this has something to do with what the voice was talking about. Let's see what else we can learn about the Reddick. Could tell us what we need to finally get rid of the break.
another earthquake. It stopped. I sense... trouble ahead. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to know what kind. Curious. I don't recognize these crystals. Are they break shards? You're familiar with them. Uh, maybe. I don't know why they'd be here, but I'm guessing the Reddig have something to do with it. Whatever they are, I suspect they're the reason we can't leave Vesoria by Tirana. I suggest we find the source of their power, and fast. We are almost there. Come. This must be what is causing the crystals to grow. If we can destroy it, perhaps we'll finally be able to leave. The fuck am I looking at here? That's the work of the Red Egg. What did you do to all these people? We honored them. They gave their lives that this benighted land might be cleansed of sin. Cut it with the cult crap, you fucking psycho! Peace, child. You too shall be honored this day. See what happens when we destroy this thing. Oh! Ah! Tal Talia, what's wrong? Yeah. Almost better than before. Oh, good. That's good. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. W you said it's too soon? What's too soon? Oh, <laughs> I was merely dismayed at the prospect of losing such a capable soldier. But you... You're fine. <sighs> we must be going. Right.
Oof. Are you ready? Then let us proceed. Where are we? Nearly there. Okay. We must keep moving. This way. <laughs> Is that...? Look, you match. One of your comrades, I presume. I am sorry. Best not to overthink these things, eh? What is this? Their talisman, of course. You do not recognize it? Yeah, uh, sorry. Memory's still hazy from whatever the Reddick did to me. It must be taken to the mausoleum in St. Paul. The dead must be honored, as is the custom. Jeez, did not expect a magic beanstalk. A what? The root we destroyed must have belonged to the tree. The vines have entirely enclosed the town. No one can get in or out. Whatever power it possesses also seems to be suppressing my own. Do you think there's something at the top? Maybe we should check it out. Let us find its remaining roots first. We might be able to weaken its power. Sounds like a plan. Imagine being so obsessed with guarding a tree. You shall not interfere with the rest! Maybe the death of the dinner smash them! You are the one who will die! <laughs> Damn! Brave warriors! <laughs> Vesoria Castle is full! Tree of offering! The flows! The essence of those! All proceeds as they the gloaming. You know what you must do. All sacrifice shall be revealed. Now you're set to quite the altar. Talk it up while you can, Paul.
for the route. Okay, glad that's over. At least you're a little stronger for your efforts. Now for the next two. How are you feeling? Like I could kick more butt and then some. The Athians paid the ultimate price. Did we know any more than that? Oh no. I must win this war. I must turn victorious. Oh, Renna! Hey, Cuff, Talia was part of Olas's personal guard, right? Wonder if any of them survived. I rather doubt it, judging by the state of this place. She must have been pissed seeing what they did to her homeland. I know I would have been. Are you actually getting upset? You didn't even know the woman. Maybe not, but 
I don't know, I think I can feel what she felt. Like her emotions are bleeding into mine or something. It's probably just your imagination. Giant trees, weird roots. You don't know anything about this stuff, do you? Do you think I'd tell you if I did? So you don't. Okay, gotcha. Probably above your pay grade anyway. Above my... I am the destroyer of Athia. Bane of the Tantas. Nothing is above my pay grade. Thank you very much. I have far more important things to worry about than shrubbery, that's all. <laughs> Spoken like a true destroyer of worlds. The crystals we've been seeing around town, they're a lot like break shards, aren't they? Mm, sort of, but also not. Meaning? Well, the break was a result of the Reddick's power, my power, fusing with that of the Tantas. The crystals here only represent the Reddick part of the equation. So Tanta magic plus these crystals might equal the break? Interesting. What do you think that guy meant, all that shit about honor and sin? I got the sense those people were killed as some sort of sacrifice. Well, that's not foreboding at all. Perhaps if you can find out why the Red Egg was sacrificing them, you might learn something useful. Yeah, maybe. If I could learn how to control the break like them, maybe it would help me save Athia. Yes, that, or it might consume you utterly. Let's see. 
Seriously, is anyone ever gonna tell me what the hell is up with this tree? Whatever it does, it certainly seems important to our... Are there even enough Athians here to bring the tree to fruition? No matters not. The General has a plan. And what might that be? Must we travel to other realms and bring back offerings from there? That is not for us to know. The trust in the General. You will not fail us. Time to put your money where your mouth is. Hey, Cuff. Hey, do you think Talia's still alive in our time? I don't remember a Talia back in Sepal. I'd say the chances of her surviving the red egg and the break are slim to none. Oh. Well, I wonder what goes through your head before you die. Stick around long enough and you might find out. So why exactly does Aldecor need a gigantic tree? I believe it channels the sacrifices somehow. Yeah, but why make the sacrifices in the first place? Oh, you know, putting your enemies to the sword, basking in their cries and lamentations. Standard wartime behavior. Were Aldecor and the tree gone by the time you showed up in Athia? Yes. Why'd you ask? Because that means Sinta and Talia did it. They beat them. They destroyed the tree. I suppose it does. As to whether they escaped in one piece or not, that's another matter.
are you hurt? I'm all right. Thank you. Thank you. Tanta Sinta, you've come to save us. Find somewhere to hide until it is safe. Don't worry, okay? We're gonna get rid of all the bad guys. Just one more. They will be expecting us. We must hurry. Crystal things have smothered everything. And they will keep spreading if we do not destroy that tree. <laughs> survive while the weak are trampled. A tale as old as time.
never seen it. Who would have thought such a thing capable of keeping our enemies at bay? Yes. The Tantans will not interfere while the barrier stands. But did one of them not interfere already? Perhaps. But one Tanta alone, no match for the ten. But things did not run smoothly last time. One cannot have the Sinta, there's something I think I should tell you. Yes? I don't know how to say this, but Athi is in danger. This thing... What? What is it? I said sis. Weren't you listening to your friend? The mysterious disembodied voice? No changing the past. That's cheating. You know what? Never mind. Odd child. You said you came here because Olas asked you to. Are the two of you close? Of course. She is a Tanta, a sister. But yes, perhaps we are closer than the others. Prav and Silo do not always appreciate my way of thinking. Olas and I, well, we understand one another. Hmm, <laughs> sounds like me and Arden. Arden? Oh, uh, nothing. Did Olas tell you anything about Tal- I mean, me? Only that you were the youngest of her personal guard, and the most dedicated. Oh, it's, uh, nice of her to say so. And that you can be somewhat reckless. Ha! <laughs> like possessor, like possessed. So, uh, how's Robian? Robian Keen? You know him. He, uh, helped me out once. I got stuck somewhere and he, um, kind of showed me the way home. Is that so? He is well. The birth of his daughter has softened the sober scholar we once knew. Hmm, <laughs> glad to hear it. She's a lucky kid, having such a nice guy for a dad. 
She is.
Let us destroy the abominable thing. Well, it's on my left arm now, too. Could it be somehow connected to your powers improving? Peculiar. Brave warriors of Reda. The tree of offering is near full grown. This accursed land shall soon be cleansed. One task, and one task alone remains to us. We must protect the tree, though it cost every last one of our lives. We must climb it. It is time. Agreed. Let's make tracks. All right, let's just go for it. It's suicide. I thought I told you to shut up. Unlike Sinta, I haven't forgotten what it means to be a Tonta. Save us! Hey! Hey, big boy! Over here! Nobody fucks with Athia on my watch. Fuck, again? It's shield? Is it just me? Or is some of your magic getting through it this time? I wouldn't get too excited. You still don't stand a chance as long as that shield's in your way. I know, but I gotta try. I'm glad to see you. Please. Not now. I don't suppose you've got a plan? Wait for the right moment, then give me the sign to try. Thank you. 
Cinta, look, I know I said some shit before. I saved you only because your death would cause more trouble than you know. <laughs> what a delightful surprise. Welcome to Thesauria, Tanta Cinta. I dare say it might have changed a bit since last you visited. Hey, Mr. Tattoo Artist, what's the deal with this shit, huh? Oh my my. Quite the cooperative vessel, aren't you? Saving me so much time and energy. The fuck's that supposed to mean? A better question would be, why this noble Tanta is so hell-bent on saving one soldier? When there is a war going on. Ignore him, Talia. He seeks to sow discord. Nothing more. Okay, what's going on here? What are you not telling me? Forgive me, I can't say. <sighs> but where are my manners? It must be so distressing to finally have to tell your charge the truth for a change, so please allow me. It's really quite simple, girl. Your beloved Tanta is planning to kill me. That's not possible. She saved me again. Cinta, say something. Your esteemed Tantas have stopped the gloaming once, but they shall not do so a second time. Preparations are made to paint the end. Cinta, no! You're coming with me! Resist while you still can. Is it true? Yes. But why? And stop with the lying and the hiding shit and just tell me the truth. Very well. If I... If I don't kill you before the day is through... You will bring death to the entire realm. What? Those markings. They mean you are now a weapon. You don't understand quite how, but once marked, it's only a matter of time before the subject... before you explode. With cataclysmic force. You're saying I'm some kind of... bomb? My task was to find you. Escort you someplace far away and then, once there, to safe distance from the people of Athia. To kill you. Make my escape. I know this. This must be difficult for you to hear, but us Tantas, we weighed up all our possible options. Your death was the only way to avoid countless others. So that's why you're in such a rush to get out of there. And why you didn't stop to save those people. They would have died anyway. And so many others. Because of me. It wasn't an easy choice to make. But nor are many we must make as Tantas. Sometimes we soil our hands with blood. All is for Athia. And no price is too great to pay. Never make that kind of mistake again. 
So if it means protecting the people of Athia, then... Do it. Kill me. I beg your pardon? Tanya. And, uh, Thank you... for being honest with me. We're currently beneath the castle. If we're going to face Aldecor, you'll need to be ready. So you're just gonna let Talia be killed? Encourage it, even? You don't get it. I, I can feel what she felt. I know she would have done the exact same thing. What utter rubbish. Believe what you want. But she would have given anything for Athia. I'm certain of it. I wonder what she'd have to say about the sorry stage of the Tantas today. Shut the fuck up. What do we have here?
Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Please. I only hope I can tell you what you wish to know. So, just to be clear, these markings mean I'm some kind of reddit weapon, right? And I'm stuck this way. Just boom, no more Talia. It pains me to say it, but yes. You may recall Aldercore mentioning the gloaming. It is a ceremony conducted at sunset. At its completion, or if you die before it's completed, you will explode. Fuck. Okay, um, do you know why the mark spread to my other arm? I do not. But your powers have grown as it has. Could this indicate a more devastating result when the inevitable finally occurs? Whoa, whoa, okay, hang on. If I explode, I kill everyone around me, right? Wouldn't that include the Reddick themselves? It would. And yet seemingly they wish it, nonetheless. I cannot pretend to understand their motives. Jeez, what do they put in the water over there? Why does it not surprise me that the concept of commitment is utterly alien to you? How did you know to come and find me? The Reddick have attempted to perform the gloaming once before. We managed to stop them, but only just. So, I'm not the first person they've done this to? No. There was another. And she too, I was... forced to... eliminate. When Ola sensed that another vessel had been created, I knew that I must do my duty once again. And by duty, you mean killing me, right? What exactly is Aldecor trying to achieve? By bringing about the gloaming. I do not know. But I worry we are perilously close to finding out. What even is the gloaming? It can't just be about blowing me up. No. I fear it cannot. There must be... more to it than simply that. Why do I get the feeling I don't want to find out? So, are these marks on my arms the reason I can use magic? I believe so. At least I cannot think what else might explain your newfound powers. Hmm. So, why do you think destroying the tree's roots may be stronger? I can only speculate. There was no tree, and no crystals, the last time the ceremony was performed. Are you ready? Could you, uh, tell me a little about yourself? What could you possibly wish to know? Well, I just... I don't have much time left. Thought I'd try and get to know you while I can. Very well. What would you like to know? Um, oh, uh, I don't know. Let's see, uh... Did you, uh, ever... maybe want to start a family? A tanta is not permitted to bear children. Surely you know this? Yeah, of course, but 
if you take off your Tonda hat for just a second. Well, were I not a Tonta, I imagine having a family might be a rather wonderful thing. But I am a Tonta, therefore such considerations are irrelevant. But you're the Tonta of love, aren't you? Don't you think experiencing a mother's love for her child might maybe add some perspective? That would be a betrayal of my duty to Athia. Okay, okay, I get it. I just never had a mom, and I don't know, you seem like you'd be a good one to have. That's an unusual compliment. Well, that's all I got, so let's go kick Aldecor's ass and take back Basoria. Talia, you do realize how this ends. I will have no choice but to... Kill me. I know. But, well, Athi is my home, too. So you do what you gotta do to keep it safe. Now let's go. Talia, the Reddick will be expecting us. Let me guess. Don't be too hasty, don't rush in, right? Not at all. I trust you will do the right thing. I merely wish to say that my strength is yours, should you require it. Is it just me, or has she softened up a little? I cannot tell you how little your blossoming bond interests me. was so important. As do I. It must play an important role in this ceremony. <laughs> Shit! Talia! Ugh. <sighs> 
all down here. Indeed, up we go. Festering in the corpse of a nobody from yesteryear. I'm touched by your concern. Surprised. Out of our way. We will kill you if we must. Ah. What if this is what the boys wanted all along? Maybe this is what we learned what we're supposed to do about the way. The way to be good over is a trust of the That would never achieve the strange boys back to the top of the trust. Yeah! 
Let's keep going. I expect the Reddick will have more surprises in store. It'll take a lot of surprises to stop us. <laughs> I believe it would. It's... He has a rather poetic turn of phrase, don't you think? Sure, he's hearing a batshit fanaticism. Talia and I would have gotten along. And why is that, Preto? She was willing to put everything on the line for the people she cared about, just like me and Sinta. And you know this how, exactly? Your famous Tonta instinct, perhaps? No, it's... I just can feel it. I know this is what she would have wanted. So you know nothing about this ceremony we keep hearing about? Not a sausage, sorry. But I imagine it's suitably poignant and dramatic. And this theory is based on what, exactly? Oh, I don't know. Call it a sort of patriotic instinct. What do you mean? Nothing. Come. 
This way. Okay, this is one tall tree. Do not look down. But please, do watch where you step. Finally. I was worried you might have a change of heart. The gloaming, what does it do? It destroys Athia, of course. With the help of a vessel, that's you. And the flourishing tree of offering, like the one you see before you. What the hell does that mean? My, has it flourished. Thanks to you. You wouldn't believe the amount of life force this takes. I had feared, despite my best efforts to secure a healthy supply, that there simply wouldn't be enough. But then you two came along. And you started killing all my soldiers. And voila. Death begets life. Are you saying we helped you? And in more ways than one. You were a perfectly adequate vessel before, but thanks to the power you've absorbed, the gloaming will now leave Arthia with deeper wounds than we ever dreamed of. All we need to do is await the inevitable. For when the core shines its brightest, the gloaming will come to pass. I'm afraid we cannot allow that. Your wretched ceremony will fail as well. Then I will show you what we Reddit are truly capable of.
shit, oh shit! Oh no!
that blow was a good blow. Like that. He seems to be rather embracing his beastly side. Oh, you think? Someone has completely lost it. They let us fuse up against him. Ha 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 ha! 
thought the gloaming failed. Did it not? Tully, forgive me. I thought I could save you. It's okay. Something bad was gonna happen. I don't know when, but soon. Dahlia, it's all right. You don't have to. When it does, promise me you won't lose her. Am I back in your own time? Did I... did Talia die? Yes. Her final moments were the beginning of the end. You saw the bird. Thus was the Cirrus called forth. What does that mean? Did Talia become the Cirrus? No. As Aldercor said, she was merely a vessel. And though Sinta tried her hardest, she was not able to prevent his return. His power grew in the years that followed, until Athia faced total destruction at his hand. Staric stuff. I'd shed a tear if I were able. But where did Caesarus even come from? Aldecor couldn't have made him. Indeed, no mortal could have created such an abomination. Caesarus owes his existence to a far more terrifying power. A more terrifying power? Interesting. Oh, I, I don't even know who I'm talking to. Who are you? I... am one of the Tantas of Red Earth. Say what? The answers you seek lie beyond Athia's borders. Come to me. I will be waiting. Wait, no, wait, just hold on. Can you just... Great. Well, Cuff, I hope you're ready for a trip to Retta. Home, sweet home. I'm sure the horrors awaiting us won't be too life-threatening. Did I mention how marvelous it was to witness my illustrious rebirth? What a privilege for us both. Not listening. 